So I'm not gonna lie, the first time I did this problem, I needed some help in order to figure this one out, but this one's super cool, super fun. Um, so the whole point is we have a, a charge with some charge Q right here that's located in the back left-hand side of this cube, and we're trying to find the electric uh, flux that is going through one of the sides, specifically this side of that cube. All right. So if we think about this from like a top-down view where we, we're looking from the top down, looking at this edge and looking at this charge right here, the way that's going to look and the way you might have uh, started this problem, and at least that's the way I did it, was kind of think uh, too hard about it, was that so if we draw the electric field lines from this, if we draw the electric field lines poorly from this point charge, oh my gosh, then... You'll see here that the normal vector to that surface, we're going to need to do some dot product, right? We're going to have to find the, uh, the, the inline components of these, these charges or these uh, electric field lines here. And, and then you're going to look at that and look at the, uh, the Gauss's law for it, right? Where it's kind of like this, dot dA, right? Is equal, that's equal to the flux, right? But that actually ends up not being what we need to do. So one of the ways that you can do to solve this problem is actually kind of just uh, imagine instead of the, that, elect, the, that cube locating in the back left-hand side of the corner, imagine that cube that we just talked about being one of many cubes. Right. So imagine these are all cubes here. All right, maybe I can draw it a little bit better. <clears throat> so imagine that that one cube that I drew originally with that charge in the back left-hand side, imagine it being actually just this cube right here, right? And then you had all but all these other cubes around it. So now what we're looking at is the, uh, the electric flux through here. We kind of just, imagine we just like zoomed out and now we have that uh, that cube. And this is where that charge is, right? And now this charge is at the center of this giant cube right here. So if we think about the entire flux throughout this entire cube, since this cube perfectly encapsulates this, this charge right here, the total flux from that charge, I'll just go ahead and write flux total, um, total, we know that the, the entire flux going through this entire giant charge right here is just going to be equal to uh, the charge that's enclosed over epsilon naught, right? So now when we think about the charge, the amount of flux that's going through only one of these tiny little sides right here, kind of the now when we look at the zoomed in version, the original version that we had, it's only going to be uh, one fourth of one of these sides here. It's just because all these captures all the flux going through that side. And that one fourth is part of, of course, one of the six sides from this entire cube. So all in all, this side right here is one equal flux, amount of flux that's going through it as all the rest of the 24 sides that the flux is going through. So if we wanted the flux from just that one tiny little side, I'll just put side, it's equal to <clears throat> 1 24th of all this stuff here. And that's... That's our answer right there. That's it. Uh, we just, we, instead of uh, trying to figure out a way that we can try to do some dot product in order to find that specific section right there, <clears throat> we can instead look at, just create our own kind of symmetrical Gaussian surface, which covers out the entire box where all the field lines are from that charge are all kind of going through every single one of these sides right here symmetrically. And then divide up that little cube into other little symmetric cubes and then divide up that cube size into one side, which is exactly what we wanted here. So a really fun problem, really interesting and a novel way to do this. Uh, I highly recommend trying to keep this kind of thinking in mind where you're trying to look through for, uh, for symmetries all throughout the electrodynamics course and all the rest of your physics courses and shoot the rest of your life.